This walk explores the mysterious and salty marshes of Porlock and walks along the shingle ridge overlooking the sea. Here's all you need to know about visiting. This route starts from the busy village of Porlock, where there are several well signposted car parks. Be sure to check the tide times before you plan your visit. Porlock Village is one of the largest on Exmoor and has a long history of settlement and a great selection of shops, pubs, cafes, accommodation and places to visit. The route takes you along the boardwalk, showing you the strange and otherworldly landscape of Porlock Marsh and out to sea. It then takes you past the picturesque village of Bossington and back through farmland. When the tail end of Hurricane Lily hit the coast in October 1996, Porlock Marsh changed forever. Although the change from freshwater marsh to salt marsh has meant a loss of some features such as reed bed, new habitats have developed in response to the saltier conditions. Glasswort and sea purse plain thrive in this brackish and frequently flooded marshlands. When high tides flood in, fish will enter the marsh for food and shelter, followed by predators such as sea bass and fishing birds such as heron. The muddy creeks are perfect for wading birds that you can often see probing the mud for mollusks. As the marsh continues to change, it will be fascinating to see how the wildlife adapts to the evolving environment and to see what species make this special place home. In the 1800s, lime was really significant for farming and it was used to fertilise Exmoor's acidic soil. When it became cheaper to crush the limestone, the kilns were no longer needed and have been unused for over 100 years. When you reach the hamlet of Bossington, turn right and head back to Porlock where you can pick up some delicious fish and chips. It's so reassuring to know that in the face of adversity, wildlife and humans really can adapt to changing environments. If you'd like to explore more fascinating places, then please visit exmoorwalks.org and we'll see you then.